four simple steps. Hi everyone, my name is Johannes and welcome to this channel, welcome to Mastering Consulting. On this channel, I will share my own learnings and experiences in my own current journey in management consulting to help you to become successful in consulting and also living a balanced life. And if you're new to this channel, then please make sure to subscribe to it. Also, please leave a thumb up and hit the bell. This will help you that you don't miss any new video coming out here on this channel. And today we have an interesting topic. We will talk about how to build consulting presentations in four simple steps. And let's start maybe with talking about why presentations are so important. In management consulting, you do presentations and you work on presentations on a daily basis because most of the time you are preparing meetings with your important stakeholders and working on PowerPoint presentations is the way to do it. Okay, so this is what we really, really do on a daily basis. What I often see um, if I work together with uh, more junior consultants, and this was definitely something that I did also um, back then when I started in management consulting, is the following. So very often if you talk with somebody um, who is more junior and if you ask him to prepare a presentation or to work on a slide, you will see the following. So you talk about what you expect, you talk about um, um, what the slide or the presentation should be about. Then typically those people, they uh, take the task with them, then you don't hear from them for like, I don't know, a couple of days maybe up until they finish the presentation, then you see the presentation, they invested a lot of time, a lot of work, then they come for uh, getting feedback, and then you realize that the end result isn't at all what you wanted to have at the end. And this is a huge problem because this is very inefficient. And I definitely made the mistake as well that I uh, didn't have an iterative approach, but rather that I took the task and then tried to deliver the final product. But um, this changed when I once talked to a, a more experienced project manager because he said, okay, Johannes, the way you do it, the way you work on presentations, this is very time consuming. This is not efficient at all. And he said, okay, Johannes, you have to develop an iterative presentation building approach. And he said, okay, there are mainly four steps that you should consider. The first one is that you start with outlining the structure. Okay. Then you try to get feedback. After that, you work out the content. Again, after that, you want to get feedback. Then it's the time to work on a design. And the step number four, the last one, is to ensure high quality. And this really changed how I approach slide building. And I have to be honest, since that, I significantly reduced the time that I needed. And especially, I reduced the time um, for you know uh, working all over again over all these slides because I made it a habit to get feedback as fast as possible after each of those four steps. And today I want to introduce you to the four steps and talk about each and, uh, and each of those in more detail. So let's start with step number one. What is it? Step number one is that you outline the structure. So why do you do that? So the most important thing about a presentation in management consulting is that you have a core message that you transport. And before you work on any of these sli uh, slides, uh, before you even open PowerPoint, you just sit down with a piece of paper or maybe on your iPad or maybe just um, on your notes and you really think about, okay, what is the core message? What message do you really want to transport? Besides that, you also want to think about how can I structure the presentation? Okay, what is the flow of the storyline okay what storyline can i create in order to support this message and this is really really important okay so before you even open powerpoint sit down think about the core message and think about the structure a typical structure in management consulting presentations uh, looks the following so you typically and this depends on how large your presentation is but let's say you have uh, a, a um, medium-sized presentation um, to the management board then you would typically start with a management summary okay and we will talk about top-down communication in a second 
A management summary is typically where you summarize the results of um, the presentation. And the idea behind it is that the management typically doesn't have a lot of time. So you want to start with the results. So if they only uh, can join the call or the meeting for the first five minutes, that they immediately get the core message. So after that, I typically like to um, give a little bit of background or explain the why. So this is typically um, to uh, talk a little bit about um, uh, why we do the project or why we have this meeting. Also, if you want to introduce a framework to structure your presentation, this is typically what comes next. And after that, you go into a top-down pyramid structure. And what this at the end means is that you have one, um, um, that you have one key message that you divide in several arguments, okay? And this is very different to uh, maybe as you learned it in university, the academic um, um, structure, because this is bottom up, there you first lay out the arguments and at the end you get to your results. In consulting, it's much different, again, to save time and to get to the point directly, you usually start with the key message and then lay out the arguments, okay? And this is at the end, the body of your presentation and sometimes you have several key messages and this is okay, but always uh, think about these uh, structure trees um, if you um, prepare a structure for a presentation. And then finally, at the end, you typically have an outline what will come next. Maybe you talk about the next steps. Maybe you summarize uh, your results. Maybe you have a discussion part where you want to get input from the management. And this typically comes of the, uh, at the end of the presentation. And this is how you typically structure a presentation in management consulting. So how do you do it? As I said, don't open PowerPoint, just sit down, lay out the structure, think about the key message. What I usually do is just that I open uh, Outlook, that I write a short email where I outline the structure uh, as bullet points. Then I send this email to my most important stakeholders. Um, yeah, back then it was my project manager, now it's more like the partner and just try to get a confirmation on the outline. And typically I don't proceed until I haven't received a positive confirmation that this is the outline, that this is the structure and this really helps me that I don't completely work in a wrong direction from the very beginning, okay? So let's talk about um, step number two and step number two is that you sit down and work out the content. And um, this is again very important because here uh, it's very um, essential to uh, emphasize that it's not about the design yet, okay? Before you think about the design, just sit down and work out the content. So typically, I think uh, about um, what kind of content we need on each slide, okay? And um, I usually start with the action title. So in management consulting, it's very typical that you um, have a headline that summarizes the content in a slide in one key sentence, okay? So I go through each slide after I laid out the structure and think about the action titles first, okay? So what does this slide wants to say? After that, I sit down and think about the slide flow. So I wanna know, okay, what uh, in essence do I want to show? So is it a graph? Is it maybe a process that I wanna show? Is it just a list of bullets? Is it a, I don't know, a fancy graph where I want to visualize something? Uh, this is the slide flow, okay? And this is typically after the action title, the second thing that I do. And after that, I try to uh, draw the content, okay? So this is typically, I uh, copy paste some data in it if I want to show some data. I um, summarize my thoughts in main bullets. I maybe um, uh, do screenshots from pictures that I want to show. And this doesn't have to look nice, but it's important that the content that you want to show is on the slides, okay? And this is typically what uh, takes a lot of time. And this is like, you know, the main work because in consulting, obviously, it's all about the content. So this should be, uh, could, or this should consume um, the most time if you work on, um, on uh, presentations. So this is what we usually call a straw man, okay? So this is a, uh, a bunch of slides. So now we are in PowerPoint where you have the action titles, where you also have um, um, summarized or collected some content, and this is the straw man. Again, don't focus too much on design here. It's more about getting the content right. So what I typically do is that after I um, worked on some slides, after I have like action titles and slides uh, and content 
for most of the slides, I try to get feedback again, okay? And this is typically more like a content-based discussion, so I don't want to discuss uh, with my supervisor um, if, you know, the, the design is good because we haven't worked on the design yet. It's more about, you know, aligning what do we want to show on each slide. And this is typically, I wouldn't send this per email. I would rather set up a short call or a meeting where you really can discuss about it um, because this is certainly a stage where you want to have a content-driven discussion. Again, try to get feedback after this stage, try to get a touch point with your main stakeholder and align if this is okay. And once you agreed uh, on the content, once you agreed on the action titles, on the core messages of each slide, then it's time for the third step. And the, thir third, and the third step is basically that you take the time to create the design. And this is now where we really work on the final slide, okay? So this is typically where I um, uh, yeah, take some time to really make it look nice. And this is where we um, work in PowerPoint, where we um, try to brush it up, as we say in consulting. And here I can advise you to um, really use the available resources, okay? So many consultancies, they have template or, or slide libraries so uh, make use of them this will save you a lot of time also many consultancies especially in strategy consulting they have um, slide support services so those are typically agencies that help you with making your slides look nice so also make use of that i can also give you uh, the advice to you work with shortcuts so um, not only in excel i think also in powerpoint it's really helpful that you get used to those shortcuts like changing colors like aligning boxes this will really save you a lot of time. So make it a habit to work with shortcuts from the very beginning. Also, I can uh, advise you that, you know, over the time, over your career, that you build a slide library, okay? And this means that you typically just collect all of the slides that you like very much. And this will help you that, you know, if you want to show a process, for example, that you already, you know, can uh, put out the slide that you already worked with uh, a couple of months ago, and this will also save you a lot of time. And here it's very important that you make it look nice because this will be the end product. And we worked on the storyline uh, already. We worked on the content already. So now you really have the time. And this is also not a wasted time because you know, you know that you don't have to do it again, again because you already received positive feedback about the outline and uh, um, the content. So here you can uh, really invest some time in preparing the design and making it look nice. And then it's time for the fourth step. And the fourth step is a very important one and don't skip this one. This is that you ensure high quality, okay? This is your quality management of your presentation. And don't forget that uh, quality is essential. So you don't want to send out your slide and then realize that you have typos in it, that there are grammar mistakes, that the numbers uh, don't make any sense to really make it a habit to invest time afterwards and also to plan some time, uh, some time to do quality checks at the end. So what does this typically mean? Uh, if you think about uh, the text, then I would check for typos. I would also see if the grammar structure is consistent so that all of your sentences um, are structured in the same way. And then you also have a consistent wording so that uh, the client name is uh, written in the same way, that certain key terms are always uh, written in the same way or that you use the same keywords. This is very important that you make sure that there is a lot of consistency in your presentation. If we talk about numbers, then I can uh, highly, highly recommend to also do a consistency, a consistency check you will be surprised how many consulting presentations I have seen where you show a, a, a number or an important number from a business case, for example. And since you typically uh, on a large presentation, since many people work on it, since you have several iterations, it's very, very common that at the end, the numbers are not consistent because maybe, you know, at uh, in the management summary, this is where the project manager took a look at. So this is the most recent number, while maybe in the backup, there is a slide um, where you have uh, the number from a business um, uh, model version a couple of weeks ago, okay? So always check for consistency um, for, uh, um, for your numbers in your presentation. Also, what I like to do is to do the CEO check, as I call it. And this means that you do some rough sense checks if the numbers add up, uh, if you have some easy calculations. 
Typically, the CEO doesn't have a lot of time to really go into, especially during a presentation, to go into all the details. But what he, uh, well, uh, what he will do is that he quickly summarizes the main numbers and checks if it makes sense. And you should do the same, okay? So if you show numbers, then go through it, do some uh, calculation in your head, if the numbers make sense, and do some plausibility checks. Also, if we talk about the layout, then make sure that the CI of the company is used uh, throughout the entire presentation, so that the uh, colors are the right ones, that the font sizes are the right ones, etc. Also, make sure that all the boxes are aligned. This is also a typical mistake that you see, and this looks just kind of massive, and uh, you want to have your presentation to be as clean as possible. Make sure that all the footnotes are right, okay? <laughs> also, again, you will be surprised how many footnotes I have seen that go into nowhere or, um, you know, very often uh, they are simply missing. Okay, so make sure that you check for the footnotes and also if you have some graphs or tables, make sure that there are legends included so that every time you know um, the, the data unit, you know um, the color codes and so on. So those are the typical um, things that I would do. How can you ensure high quality? Uh, I made it a habit that at the beginning I made a list of the most important quality checks, okay? Like all the things that I just mentioned, I created a list back then and I made it a habit that every time before I sent out a presentation, I checked for all those things. Also, I can uh, recommend to use the 4i principle. So before you send out a presentation, maybe you ask your teammate to have a look at it. Maybe you ask your project manager to have a look at it. Just another person because typically, you know, after you work hours and hours and hours on a presentation, it's uh, not unusual that you just don't see the things anymore. So just let have it checked by a second person. Also, what I can recommend that you create a PDF before you send it out and read through it again. I don't know why, but typically if I make a PDF and then I read through it again, I will discover much more mistakes than uh, I usually do when I work in PowerPoint. Uh, so I can definitely also recommend it. And then after you've done all of these checks, then you can finally send it out and then you have your final presentation. Okay, so just remember, just to summarize that you have an or make it a habit to um, get an or have an iterative approach. So there are four steps. First, take care about the outline. Second, you need to make sure to work on the content. Only then do the design and at the end the quality and um, make it a habit to do that. And I will promise you this will save you a lot of time and this will also eliminate uh, significantly the chances of doing all-nighters because the biggest reason for doing all-nighters in management consulting is that people don't follow, the, follow the, these steps and don't um, uh, get feedback from their important, uh, important stakeholders from a very uh, early stage, okay? So make this a habit and I will promise you this will save you a lot of time. And of course, I'm interested what you think about it and what your recommendations are to build great slides in management consulting. So please leave it in the comments. And if this brought value, then please make sure to subscribe to this channel. This will help you that you don't miss any new video that's coming out here. And with that being said, I wish you a very successful day. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye, Johannes.